TN70 does very well at weaning her own piglets. She's a large sow, but she produces a lot of pigs, and she produces enough milk to raise those pigs. She's robust, efficient, and productive. I want to say prolific, efficient, and docile. She's pretty good mom. The TN70 is a really good milking female, um, and she's self-sufficient. Um, we don't have 24-hour care here, um, so she pretty much does everything herself, which saves us on a lot of labor. In the batch sparrow, you don't have the ability to bring in a nurse sow to help, you know, help wean those piglets. She has to do it on her own, and and that is really a kind of allows the TN70 to shine in that situation. When they come to the Farron Crate, they, um, they are able to, to lay down a lot of milk for their piglets and raise that, that litter that, um, that, they've, that they've birthed. Her milking abilities are far better than anything I've, I've experienced. The TN70 is going to give a decent sized litter of pigs with good birth weight, and then she has the ability to milk those pigs um, I'd say very much above average milking ability. She's average on feed consumption, but, but it balances out from a little more in gestation, a little less in farrowing, but lays down plenty of uh, milk production for her piglets. All the pigs are relatively uniform when we wean them, um, and that's uh, kudos to her for her milking ability. Our goals are to have uh, uh, have them feral 14, 15 piglets, and our goals are to, for them to wean 14, 50, 15 piglets. Um, that's what we strive for, and she helps us get there. The TN70 female has uniform piglets at birth, which uh, translate to uniform piglets at weaning. We know that at that back end, each pig's putting on a pound a day, and and it, it's, it doesn't vary a lot, and so uniformity is big. See a lot of litters, they raise them all the way to the end. So, I mean, that's, that's money to be able to raise that litter of that size. We've seen very positive um, trend line to see increase in total born. I would say we're 15 or north of that at this time. We've been able to uh, load up our gilts with with piglets to teat count. So that might be 16, 17 pigs, and they can raise 16, 17 pigs. You wouldn't believe it if you didn't see it. She's a very durable female. Um, very easy to work with. Fairly happy with the robustness. Very few lameness issues. In general, structure is, is very sound, and we don't have a lot of issues with prolapses. The last six months, my mortality on her is a 2.25 sow mortality rate, which is wonderful. Um, our sow retention on her is something I'm very excited about. We rely on topics and and expertise to help guide us. I mean, they, they know their sow, they know the science, and so we're relying on their nutrition um, recommendations and to help us make those decisions. The TN70 female on our farm comes into uh, the farrowing crate a little more conditioned um, than uh, maybe a other typical genetics, but she um, gives that back to us in milking and productivity. It's important to understand what your female's needs are and you need to uh, feed them accordingly. Once we got our nutrition specs kind of lined out as well as our breeding age and condition at the time of breeding, I'm seeing absolutely uniformity in those piglets. Labor in the swine industry is a challenge today and will continue to be a challenge down the road. Um, I think it's important to pick a genetic company um, or, or an animal that um, is more efficient and can do things by itself without having man hours put into raising it. The TN70 has reduced our labor cost and our time spent in the farrowing barn. She's pretty calm in the farrowing house in general. Um, when you walk in, 
for the most part. They don't spook and jump and start barking as soon as you walk in the room. Her demeanor in the gestation barn and farrowing barn is very, very calm and easy to work with. They are a pretty, they're a very docile animal for, for um, open pen gestation, so it's, it's worked out well for us. You can see that genetic improvement and that advancement happening. She's a very well balanced animal. She's efficient as a mother, and she passes that on into the on into the finisher performance of the market pig. And so those things all synchronize together for, for better bottom line. She's going to give uh, good uh, terminal traits to her offspring as well. We've noticed a big difference in not just the quality of um, the sows at the time of farrowing, but also the condition of her piglets that she's been able to raise and farrow in the farrowing house. The structure of her, um, her mothering capability, um, and also the support from the genetic team that I thought was something that was integral as part of who we would go forward with a genetic company.